What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, Follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And as you can see by the title, um, I just want to go ahead and get right into this video and see what the conversation uh, entails. We wouldn't have had that message or even the, the resources in having a, a family law attorney for somebody to be able to reach out to. And I exactly. think that infrastructure, that that developing foundation is exciting to a lot of people, but it's also scary to some because that's power. You don't have to answer the question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! Shout out to hey. Evan Samuels in the house. How are you doing, hey. KS? I'm well, man. It's been a, it's been a very busy weekend. And, uh, but uh, I was, shout out to the chat. I actually wanted to be able to grab a, a minute on this topic because I didn't know what you were talking about. I didn't know she had written a response. <laughs> yeah, she came at us. <laughs> and uh, I, none of it made sense to me. You know, I thought when she was on there, when, when I talked to her initially, I thought our conversation went excellent. Now, again, and this is something that you pointed out, the chat, the chat was reacting differently, but that's because the chat had knowledge that I didn't know because I'm new to the space, right? But because I didn't know any of that backstory stuff, like I was giving, you know, I was some of the stuff that she was saying, you know, not all of it I, I thought was correct, but I wasn't calling her out. Like you were saying, I was being super diplomatic, mm -hmm. super neutral, you know? Okay, so the she um, that and the the person who wrote response this is still talking about the situation that occurred with um april mason you know when she was on his show on his platform um so it looks like this is still kind of like in response to that situation just in case you guys were wondering like who she and her was in a conversation with her that i would have with anybody else right and in fact before right. she before that my initial topic of covering this i called her an expert on mm -hmm. uh, black women, you know, she's an expert. If, if she has been feeding herself for 10 years talking to black women, how can she not know about black women, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, I was being super cordial and everything. And then she came on, we had a great conversation. And then after that, uh, you came on and you and I talked about it. Neither one of us called her out her name. Neither one mm -hmm. of us would call her any crazy, uh, any crazy epithets. Maybe we had some disagreements about what she was saying, but that's anybody. We were talking about what a man says. We would have some we would have some disagreements. And but she the way, you know, we were super, super respectful. And well, the way she took that was amazing. I mean, just well, totally left. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there are a couple of schools of thought. And, you know, let me put on my marketing hat uh, for somebody who has a book dropping on the 20 on the, on the 31st. Mm. <laughs> You know, um, this is part and parcel for the business. I mean, look at the 50 cent. Anytime he has a project coming out, he tends to find a beef. He tends to find somebody uh, because, and that's what you have to do, find it because it wasn't there. He's, um, that's, that wasn't even a straw man. That was an invisible man argument. You, we sat down and talked about her points and, and the level of disingenuousness and, and, and the need to reach was just like, wow. But, you know, hey, Kudos. I mean, if that was if that was her plan, if it was her thought process to, you know, controversy, sales, attention, such and so forth, because none of it made sense. I mean, clout chasing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, my channel is bigger than hers. And Jesus Christ, like your channel, that's what I was saying, like the, the audacity for her to say clout chasing and put you in that same sentence. Right? It, it makes no put you in the same post. It makes no sense at all. Well, but the thing, the fact to me, I, I was, people find a reason to put my name and stuff because it's, it, it makes algorithms move at this point. So, I mean, it's smart, um, but I'm going to, I want to get to where the, the men are, are coming from on this. And that, yeah, that's, that's, that's like a, that's like a hard reach, you know, to say that, you know, TLA and, you know, Kevin Samuels were clout chasing off of her name. I think that's, that was a little bit of a reach for sure. 
if we're gonna be honest, okay, that's like a that's more than a reach. That's like a pull. Um, but he did just say a different avenue. He did he did just say that 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 it seems like maybe it was a marketing strategy um, for her new book. I would hope that would not be the case, especially for two people who you know advocate so strongly like within our community about relationships and stuff like that. That it would be that kind of scenario. But I mean. Like he just said, this is like speculation that he's speculating that that could be possible, but hopefully not. You know, I, I, I'd like I would like to hope for the best. This is one of the things as content creators, especially being a newer content creator. Um, I think one of the reasons black men respond in some of the ways we do is because there it's been a long time until since black men have had anybody to advocate for. Them. Correct. And the fear is always that you're going to sell out. You're going to sell out. Mm -hmm. Something's going to happen. The other shoe going to drop. You're going to get the bag. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, the fear is all you need is enough money, the right deal, or the right woman, and you'll change up everything. And that's a very amazing point. That's an amazing point that Kevin just made. Because our men have been out here just in the wild, on their own, you know, literally fending for themselves, having opinions that nobody cared about, nobody even cared to ask, nobody even cared to acknowledge. I can definitely understand that mindset of like, well, how long is this going to last? You know, how long is this fad going to last? Because nobody was doing this before. So how come everybody, you know, I can understand the speculation. And, you know, a lot of people have proven to, you know, to prove that to be true. So I completely understand the sentiments. Um, you know, we see everything that's going on on social media. And, you know, as content creators, we always see the, see these things that, that pop. Not always, but more than likely we see, you know, the comments that pop up or the questions that people have about other people. And, you know, and I understand their sentiments completely because if you had nobody advocating for you before and then you see a surge, in the surge, there's always going to be people who are not 100% authentic. And that's any, that's in anything. Okay. That's literally in any situation. You're not always going to have people who are pure and genuine hearted. So I, I definitely understand that statement that Kevin just made. Uh, and I think, but, 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 because that's been, that's been the experience, but this, but this is different, you know, kind of like even when I sat down with uh, Brittany Renner, um, mm -hmm. Deion Sanders had her up at Jackson State. Um, he did it for the benefit of the guy. No matter what her purpose was, it was his purpose. Exactly. It's just like when you sat down with her in April, you had your purpose. I had my purpose. Her purpose is whatever it is. But if it's a business move, you, you've alienated um, potential allies mm -hmm. unnecessarily. And men, ultimately, I think what men really want to see is that that her true nature, that's what a lot of people were waiting for, for her true, hey, quote, what people call her true nature to show up. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, and it popped up right on time. Because let me go back. Mm -hmm. Before, two years ago, before this whole thing with her cousin, I had never really heard of April Mason saying anything particularly harsh about men. But one instance, one incident happened, and then all of a sudden, black men became males and betas and <laughs> this all this kind of stuff. I was like, well, where did this, this shit come from? Right. Mm. So it's like, all right, well, you know, that that train ain't never late. So I think what it is is she she is who she is. And uh, and, and it's been on full display. It, it, it Maybe it's worked for her for so long. But here's the thing. If you're going to try to transition to selling to working with men, that ain't going to work because men don't buy that bullshit. Men will sit there and tolerate a lot and listen and cope. But before they give their money up, not, not, not wholesale. You're exactly yeah, especially right. Especially black men. We vet. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the thing, right? I mean, because the, when, when I pulled her up, the chat was going crazy. Like, the chat knew. Even the black women were like, hey, man, you know, and, you know, there's this. Th it's so interesting because, like I said, when I did that reaction video on my channel, I had the same kind of, like, feedback. And I had never heard of, you know, her before either. And I loved the video that she did. She did an interview. I think it was with, um... I can't forget, but it's on my channel. I did a reaction to her speaking. It's the first time I had ever, um, you know, heard heard of her, saw her. And I loved that video so much. And I saw some backlash in the comment section. I was just kind of like, what's going on? Like, what are you guys even talking about? And then, you know, 
fast forward all the way till now, when people are saying these things, I'm like, oh, wow, okay, I can understand, uh, you know, that people saw things or knew things previously before that didn't want to say anything. Um, so I get it. I completely get it. One key thing that Kevin just said, um, and I'm going to continue to play the video. One key thing that he just said is that, you know, her true nature. And I think that that's so important for everybody who watches content, who, you know, listens to anything, literally every, every single scenario in their lives, people will always show you their true nature. And it, it's usually something that doesn't happen, uh, you know, too far down the line. People can only be who they truly are. People can only be their authentic self. So it, if there's a representative and this goes into relationships, this is just like in business and everything that representative is going to fade away. You just have to pay attention to the things that people say and their actions that will prove to who, to be who they are. This issue about women entering this space now and mm. whether they're chameleons and yeah. uh, this or that, you know, because there are some strong content creators who are women who are absolutely doing the, doing their thing like pink book lessons. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, maybe there are other people who come in and there's like, Hey, it's just kind of like a cash grab. And right. to me, when I saw April Mason just dogging out the quote unquote majority of black mm -hmm. women, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, well, she absolutely seems like an ally to this space. I mean, she was going harder on black women than a lot of black men go on mm -hmm. black women over here. So it kind of, it seemed like, okay, she's seeing some of the same stuff that we're seeing. And then when she gets over here and comes up on the mm -hmm. channel and on the panel mm -hmm. and all this, then she absolutely turns it around after she comes up and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and then is, is gonna, is gonna ostracize and attack the same people that accepted her in. And I so was like, mm -hmm. I don't know what, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, I mean, it's almost like a talented 10th kind of argument. Like I don't mind alienating this amount of women because these are the ones that are, you know, that I'm targeting to, and then you're going to say you alienate a, a large amount of black men. And see, if that if that's what you're going for, cool. But um, I don't it's, I don't think it's very sound. But she get but it's out there now, and you got to rock with it. See, one of the things about YouTube is different than I was spent all week all weekend on the movie set. I mean, mm. on a, on a set, mm -hmm. and the difference between being in uh, athletics, entertainment, or music on the creative side versus going from this side to that side is we understand we've had to come up the slower way, the process way of business. On that side, it's a lot about playing a part. You know, it's not uncommon for people to play parts mm -hmm. on the movie theater, on the movie screen, and live completely different lives. Right. Keanu Reeves is a great example of this. Yes. Completely different. But YouTube is not. It's built around a person. And the one thing that will screw you up in this business is inauthenticity. You cannot be inauthentic. You gotta be authentically who you are. Whatever your views are, you gotta be that. Listen, this, I literally just said this, <laughs> but it's so true on so many different levels because you wanna know why there's so many people out here, right, in the world that can share your viewpoint no matter what it is that you think if you can think so many different things you're gonna have people who feel the same way you're gonna build your tribe on that so if you're building your foundation or your base or your tribe off of being somebody else that's gonna be extremely hard for you to keep up with that's gonna be extremely hard for uh whatever mission it is that you are trying to provide you know if you are if your mission is getting people in relationships, you know, saving family structures and stuff like that, and you're very, very passionate about that, like truly, then turning on people who also have the same mission as you would not, it, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. It would seem as though maybe that's not exactly what you were trying to do initially. Especially if the talking points are drastically different. It's like, so what were you, what was the point of this? Was the point to actually do this or was the point something else? But it, it, it will always, I mean, it will always come out. That's, that's what I know for a fact. No matter what it is, no matter what it is that you're doing, if you're not being authentically true to yourself, people will always be able to see through that.
But sooner or later, especially with live streaming, live streaming, mm -hmm. you, if you don't, if you're not who you say you are, it's gonna come out. So if that's who th True. authentically who she is, rock with it and then let the chips fall where they may. Yes, yes, and we'll see, yeah. you know, kind of what her what her next moves are because to ostracize the majority of black women, and now you're over here talking talking shit about the number one man in this space, a man with 1 million subscribers and 1 million followers, like, where are you going to go? Right? Well, yeah. So take, so take, um, so take the subscribers away from Kevin Samuels. Take the subscribers away and take the followers away. Kevin Samuels viewpoint, his talking points are what a lot of men really say in real life and how they really have been feeling. They just never had somebody um, step in front of, you know, the controversy and be able to say these things at large without apology. So to, to challenge somebody who's literally on the front line, okay, let's, let's be really honest, and standing for these things and these values and these conversations and to kind of tarnish that relationship that you have with that person who's doing again the same line of work that you are doing that you're supposed to be doing or that you say that you want to do is is like i don't know it's crazy to me i think one of the one of the biggest red flags i see of people is like if they if they don't um bring up mr samuel's name or they don't i'm not saying that everybody's going to agree with all of his talking points and stuff like that but people who are saying that they are standing up for men um and the respect that they deserve needing them in our, in you know our lives our stru our family structures talking about the necessity of them and they don't bring up his name or they're like hesitant to bring up his name i kind of like hmm because he is the he's i mean he's in the forefront <laughs> like he's the one who's really like advocating i'm not saying that he's the first person to do it i'm not saying that there's not other people who have been doing it i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying that people who kind of shy away from a relationship with him or his talking points or like the conversations that he does bring. Sometimes I, I, I kind of feel like that's kind of weird because he's the one who is like pushing it strongly. So how could you not necessarily like agree with at least some of his talking points? That's just my opinion though. That's, that's literally just my opinion. Again, not everybody is going to agree with everything that he says. Not everybody is going to, you know, quote unquote, like him. But if you are for the mission, I wouldn't see a reason why you wouldn't want to, you know, foster that relationship or, you know, have that peace with, with you and with that person. That's just my opinion though, guys. It, mm -hmm. it, it's far, it's far bigger than me. And here's the thing. See? Um, Rebecca Lynn Pope, uh, she made a video years ago. And then when my whole, the whole thing with me came up, uh, she did a 180. Um, it used to be the play. It used to be the play to where you could say, you know, just throw black men under the bus. Um, what's the next move? There ain't one. I mean, she's who she is, and she, the people going to rock with her going to rock with her. This space mm -hmm. is not a dumb space, mm -mm. correct? And it, it it is, and and the people who have made it through have have the scars to prove it. Uh, you don't just get in here just because you got a a nice suit or a nice butt you gotta you gotta okay. prove your work so um you know i don't i think this will this ain't gonna even be a story in the next couple of weeks i mean wh why i mean because I mean, at the end of the day what are you really delivering at the end of the day if you really believe this dope chick you know uh 40 plus year old woman and you got all these options and it's okay that's a who, who, who does that? Come on, Lee. Right. I, I know I, I'm out here dating. I don't see many women who have that those kind of options like that. Right. And, and if that's also... And that's, why, and that's why talking points that, you know, kind of cater to or say or give the fluff to like, oh, it's okay. Like, you can still figure it out. Like, you can wait until you're a certain age and then, you know, whenever you're ready to decide, that's when you can decide. I have a really big issue with that because a lot of the women out here, okay, if you love us women like you say that you do, a lot of the women out here don't have those options. Just like Kevin just said, they don't necessarily, you know, we. it's just like telling them like in any shape that you're in or 
you know, in any age group, you're completely going to be able to find a millionaire. And that's just not realistic for a lot of these women. We need a lot of these women to understand that it is okay. It's absolutely fine to be with somebody who's in a different tax bracket. Okay. Because everyone cannot be in the relationship with these small group of men. It's just not realistic. It's not real life. But what are what are your goal like what are your motives? Do you want to be married? Do you want to be a wife? Do you want to have a family? Okay, then we need to have broader conversations. We can't fluff everybody's feathers because it's just not realistic. It's it's feeding to the delusion the, the delusional mindset that a lot of our women have. You're selling to women, or if that's the product you're marketing, kudos. But it's not going to be massively uh, purchased. So. Correct. I, I absolutely agree. And you know, this will this will go away until maybe the, her next book comes out or her next course <laughs> comes out, that? right? <laughs> but, but the thing is, you made a comment that the manosphere is evolving, and and and, and the thing is, it, it's evolving to be more in, inclusive. Yes. But but it's going in a good direction, you know. Yes. One of the things I, I made sure that even when I start talking about this high value man stuff, I'm from blue collar, middle midwestern peak, and you don't alienate your 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 your, your base, right? Uh, and I don't know what the play is, and that's more important. We don't have to know the play. Bottom line is, men want to know that you are still got your, uh, that you own their side and, mm-hmm. and that you're not going to switch up because mm-hmm. of an opportunity came along. You may sit down and take a meeting. They may not understand the diplomacy or whatever, but as long as they understand that you just scooped the step by the door wherever you went, more than likely than not, they'll give you, they'll, they'll give you the benefit of the doubt, especially once you're in, once you're in, you're in. Because let's be honest, you and I could probably go places and do things that other guys couldn't or would not want to. Right. And then go eat a, a two-piece and a biscuit out in the parking lot and have a good goddamn time. Mm. Exactly right. That's who we do. That's who it's that humility that I love, okay? And I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on outside. It looks like they are, like, cutting down trees. I don't know. So if you hear some sounds, I don't know what's going on, okay? they. I don't know. But I love that. I love the humility of that conversation. You know, and, and this is what he's saying. Like, when you hear him saying, like, you know, we can go places that a lot of people may not have access to, but we're still humble enough that we're fine if we can, like he just said, go get two pieces and a biscuit. That's showing his authenticity. And I love that. I love that. I, I, I really, really love when people can just be real. Real recognize real. People can feel it. Y'all yeah. <laughs> No, you're exactly right. Here, man. I just wanted to jump in, in here real quick. Thank you so much. You know, you are always welcome. It is a blessing and an honor to have someone like you, to have you, specifically you, on this yeah. on this platform. Uh, I'm super blessed, especially being so small. So uh, I, it really speaks so highly to you as well, because a lot mm-hmm. of times once you get to a certain level, you kind of forget about the 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 the, the 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 little people right? right and you are at the highest level and you are still helping out smaller creators so thank you so much for coming on you, thank you for supporting us and you know thank you for all that you do for men you know and let yeah. me just tell you this uh, since you're up here see okay this is what i'm talking i just love this conversation so much i love it so much um and again we have to talk about authenticity i love the lead's ability to give him his flowers on his platform in front of everybody and not hold anything back because of the respect that he has for the work that he is doing again for men. So if this is your something that you feel strongly about, if this is something that you're passionate about, about, you know, men having a voice, men being able to voice their opinions, men being necessary. Again, like I'm saying, you're going to give this person his accolades because you see the work that he's putting in. So I really, really love that. I really love that. So we have the Godfather. We have to give TLA a name. You guys got to help me. What are we going to name TLA? Because <laughs> he needs a name in the space. Because um, th- this is just, I-, I love this brotherhood that they have together as well. This is not the first time we've seen him on here talking to him. So I, I love this. I love this a lot. Love the collaboration. My, my plan to tell you, but I had a consultation today with a man and he's making about $1.1, $1.2 million dollars. And he called me because he wanted to know if he should stay in his marriage or if he should divorce and do these type of consultations. And um, 
without getting into specifics, his, his wife had done some, some, some pretty, some horrible things. Let's just mm-hmm. say horrible. And he has suffered tremendously. Now he has bounced back, uh, right. but he suffered a lot. And he was saying when he was going through it, you know, he would cry to her and she would, she would say this and she would say that. And she would still be abusing him because she saw the weakness and she was taking advantage of it. And mm-hmm. he said, that's the way that he was living his life until he found your videos. Oh. And when he found your videos and started watching them, he he didn't have an understanding that even though he was making 1.1 or 1.2 million, that he that he had value as a man. Oh man. And you were the one that taught him that he had value and that he should not allow himself to be treated this way by this woman. And that is what inspired him to call me just to say, hey, how do you see this? Because I think I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't think I'm happy, and I, I think I need to move on. But what clicked it in his mind? What was the catalyst? Was you, and so you are making differences in so many men's lives yeah. that you weren't even aware of, right? That you will, you will never find out. If I had never told you about this gentleman, you might never know who he is and what you did for him. Right. Um, so I, I absolutely want to sing your praises for some <laughs> of the people who, who whose lives you are changing and maybe they don't have the opportunity to talk to you and, and to thank you. But he would want me to thank you on, on, on his behalf. So uh, and and it, you and it, it's good to hear that because a couple of years ago, um, we, we wouldn't have had that message or even the, the resources in having a, a family law attorney for somebody to be able to reach out to. And I think that infrastructure, that that developing foundation is mm-hmm. exciting to a lot of people, but it's also scary to some because that's power. <laughs> that's yeah. power. That's power. Yeah. So, and that's why, I mean, that's why I, it, I'm hot now. And if, if it's going to be somebody else's turn, how you start, how you end. And what, what's the oldest saying? Be careful on who you step on on the way up. They're the same people you're going to see on the way down. I ain't stepping Facts. on nobody. <laughs> Back, back. I heard that. I heard that. I gotta run. Appreciate it. ABL, shout out, dog. Yeah, gotta, shout out to ABL. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much, uh, Kevin. You can always come up. Really appreciate it. You do have. Love them so much. Absolutely. And um, love what they're doing in this space. And also, we have to shout out TLA. Um, he did hit his 100, his 100K mark. I think the last video that we were reacting to. He said it in there, um, so that's why I wanted to bring it up because I saw that he did hit that, so we have to say shout out to him and congratulations, of course. We love the work that is being done within this space. Um, and just like a, a couple talking points before I end the video, I just want to say, you know, people who are authentic and true, you don't have to worry about it, okay? You don't have to worry about trying to necessarily find out certain things or certain, you know, if this person is going to flip or change or switch or whatever, you're always going to have a lot of people come into a space and maybe not be as authentic and maybe not be as genuine. That's just literally with anything. You can have somebody who owns a health food store who doesn't necessarily care that much about your health, but they just saw it as a business venture in a space that needed it. So it's, it's something that's always going to happen, but people will always reveal who they really, really are. So don't worry. Take what, you know, you need from people. Listen, as he just said, people who do live streams, it's a very, very telling way because you just are so authentic and you're just giving your reasonings and your conversations freely. There's no filter. There's no edit. There's no this. There's no that. So, you know, but I just want to say thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a name for TLA in the comment section. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Yeah.